It's been a mean week for Newt Gingrich. Not only is he expected to get trounced tonight in Florida, he's just been hit with a lawsuit by the band Survivor for using their one big hit, Eye of the Tiger, at Gingrich campaign events. Judson Phillips is the founder and CEO of the Tea Party Nation and a strong and vocal supporter of Mr. Gingrich for president. Good afternoon, Judson. Hey, Martin. Good afternoon. Now, the Tea Party helped elect Governor Rick Scott, Senator Marco Rubio and Congressman Alan West. And that's just in Florida. So why have they not come out for Newt? Well, a lot of the Tea Party have. And, uh, you know, we're going to see what the actual results are tonight. A lot of the polling indicates that uh, that the race is tightening a bit, and, and the Judson, margin may be under Judson, 10 percent. Judson, the Suffolk Martin, University Martin, poll Martin. was 20 point difference. That doesn't PPP suggest PPP was narrowing. nine percent. Uh, as of today, PPP said it was nine percent. So, like I said. The polls seem to be narrowing a bit. There's a lot of them out there. We will see the results tonight. And, you know, we can have that discussion what actually happened next time I'm on. But do you think, Judson, it's because Mitt Romney has been very effective in explaining that Gingrich's claims to be an outsider are just completely bogus. His claims that he's not a lobbyist, that he just hasn't persuaded anyone. As one of our earlier contributors said, he hasn't given a persuasive enough answer for the things that he's done. Well, Romney has been in Florida just absolutely carpet bombing Florida with negative ads. 92 percent of the ads have been negative. You're right. Oh, oh it, it's horrendous. You know, I'll tell you, I was spent the last four days down in Florida on a Tea Party Express tour talking about uh, talking with people down there. And that was the big complaint that everybody had. And I don't care who they were supporting. They were tired of the negative ads. They wanted candidates to start talking about what they're going to do, what the election really means and what their plan is for 2013, because nobody cares that, you know, anybody's lying. They all lie. What they want to know is, what are you really going to do? Stop this petty, you know, third grade bickering with each other. Start telling us what you're going to do. Judson, just a moment. Thank you so much. You just said they're both lying. That's what you said, didn't you? Yeah. Every and and you, 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 you agree that there is a vast amount of lying down in Florida by both the main candidates. Hey, I'm going to sit up and defend Gingrich. Mitt Romney is lying about Almost everything. Come I mean, on, I'm, Judson. That's uh, not hey, what you just said. Hey, Martin, Martin, I'm a lawyer. I know something about lying. If Mitt Romney lies one more time, the Florida Bar Association is going to investigate him for the unauthorized practice of lying. <laughs> okay, very quickly, Judson. How did Gingrich go from doing so well in South Carolina to, and then to perform so poorly, if the polls are right, here in Florida? What has happened? I think... Uh, as a practical matter, Mitt Romney's got a better demographic down there. A lot of the people, you know, this is the middle of winter. A lot of the folks who are down there are the snowbirds who immigrated, who requested uh, financial asylum from places like Massachusetts uh, and other high tax states. So they're Judson, down there. Judson, they know is Mitt the Romney. real reason they're for, vote why, for him. Is the real reason for why Newt collapsed because he said recently that by the end of his second term, he would be developing a colony on the moon, and by 2020, there would be a regular shuttle service to Mars. No. Now, the reason, or the reason Newt's numbers are so low, he's being outspent four, five, six to one on ads, and they're all negative attack ads. And one thing you and I will agree on, I think everybody will agree on, negative attacks are very, very effective. And when you're outnumbered four, five, six to one, that's the impression that a lot of people are going to be left with. Because let's face it, you know, you and I love this stuff. We eat it up day in, day out. The average voter down there does not. They just see what they Judson. see on TV, and that's what influences, and that's Judson. what uh, forms their decision-making process. Thanks so much for joining us.